What's up, everybody? Welcome back, and uh, we're still at it. We're still at the old Alienware. If you didn't watch last week's video, uh, we basically took an old Alienware that was uh, on the struggle bus, took it apart, and liquid metal the internals, the GPU and CPU, to get the temperatures back down so we could play some games. Uh, that was a successful journey, so now this week we're going to continue the upgrades because I want to change the hard drive out. So currently, it has an old mechanical hard drive, and we're going to swap it out for this. This is an 860 Evo from Samsung, so solid state drive should give us a great leap in performance. And I also want to upgrade the memory. We only have 8 gigs of RAM, so this is a 16 gig kit of DDR3 from Corsair. Now I did hear a rumor that this laptop can only handle 8 gigs, but if it can do it, we're going to try to put 16 gigs in it, and I guess we'll figure that out on our own. Okay, before we throw in a new hard drive, we need to have, uh, we need some way to compare to uh, the new one, so we're going to do a little boot test. So I'm going to start this timer on my phone as I hit the power button. We're just going to see how long it takes to get into Windows. Then after we switch the hard drive out and all that stuff, we'll, we'll do it again, see how much we've actually improved. So let me try to hit these two together here. A one, a two, a three. Okay, so let that go. Um, also, so when we take this hard drive out, we're going to want to put that one in, but we want that one to be the same as that one. So I'm going to show you how to clone a hard drive. It's actually quite easy, but it's very useful if you're upgrading a hard drive or doing something like this where you have an old one that's dying and you want to swap it out with the new solid state one. So we'll show you that too. Hey, we're in. So about a minute 30, we're still loading, so we're not, we can't really do anything just yet. There we go. Okay, we're, we're getting, we're, we're starting to be able to open things. So about two, two minutes, two minutes, 45 seconds. Um, Windows is open and getting close to being usable. So it's closer to three minutes. It's good. Things are opening, but now it's catching up with all the clicks I did. We'll call it about two and a half minutes, three minutes before Windows is actually usable. So now we'll shut it down. We'll uh, clone our hard drive, put in our new hard drive and new memory, fire it up and see if we, uh, we didn't done make it better. Okay, so we have everything hooked up. It looks like a mess, but all the disk drives are connected. However, I tried to clone the existing, you know, regular hard drive to the new SSD and it had a read fail. So, you know, that hard drive is already having its issues, but it seems like we can't even read the data off. So the plan B is going to be to clone my desktop. So the desktop drive is, a, uh, is bigger than, you know, the, the drive I'm putting in the laptop, but um, the, the space used is exactly, you know, it's less than what this one has to offer. So we're going to try to clone my desktop and see how that goes with us. To clone it, we're going to use this software here. This is Macrium Reflect. Uh, you get this on this website. This is, uh, <clears throat> I think it's Macrium Reflect 7, the free version. Uh, works great. So this is the hard drive from the laptop that we're having issues with. So now we're going to try to clone my desktop hard drive. Um, it is a larger, you know, a larger hard drive than the one we're putting in the laptop, but we're not going to use these backups. So we should be able to fit it all on there. We're going to give it a shot and see what goes. So here's how we're going to do that. So we're going to select the 850 Evo. We're going to hit clone this disc, select a disc to clone. We're going to find the 860. Here it is. We're going to delete these existing partitions. And we're not going to do this non and non. Next, next, finish. And let's see if it gets this one done. Okay, we're back. We got everything put together. The new hard drive is in there and it should come up looking just like this one since we cloned it. So we're going to hit the start button, see what happens. We're going to time it and compare it to the other one, which was like, what was it, two and a half, three minutes. So let's see if we can beat that. So here we go. We'll try to do the start thing at the same time again. So a one, a two, a three. Hey, we're back in. So we got Windows 10 now since uh, we couldn't use the old hard drive because it was corrupt. But now we got the new one on there. It's got a bunch of stuff that I need to take off there for you know my desktop. But in the most part, it took like, what, 25 seconds, 24 seconds to get booted into Windows where before we were looking at minutes. So that's awesome. The next big thing is the RAM. Do we have 16 gigs or was everybody, was the comments online that said this thing can only run eight correct? So we're going to just, you know what, we'll just do this. We got Windows 10 now, so we can just go draw a delete and 
check out the task manager. There you go, 15.9 gigs. So the 16 gigs of RAM is showing up, so that is great. Uh, and this thing is it's done. So we have a liquid metal in there, so it's nice and cool. We have a new uh, hard drive to get rid of that old mechanical drive that was failing on us. And we have 16 gigs of RAM where we did have eight. So this thing is better than it was when we when it was bought brand new. So it should work just fine for a few more years, some light gaming. It's not gonna be, you know, top of the line, but it is gonna, it is gonna work. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Um, if you didn't, thumbs down. Leave a comment down below if you've got something else you think needs liquid metal or uh, you got any other ideas for what we should do with this thing. But thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.